we are going to do the work together 13-1 on page 381 recording a payroll the directions say Lakeland Company's payroll register has the following totals for the semi-monthly pay period May 1st to 15th T accounts and a cash payments journal are provided and I will guide you through so it tells us that our total earnings from the payroll register are 13,800. That is going to be our debit to salary expense because like I have told you, salary expense is the cost of hiring people and paying them. So that gross earnings or total earnings is the debit to expense for that. And then we have federal income tax withheld and the name of that account is called employee income tax payable because we owe it to the federal government and we know that liabilities payables are credits they increase as credits so when i withhold it i owe it social security tax withheld that is again the employee portion but i owe it to the social security administration office so that is 855.60 and the Medicare withheld, I will also pass on to Social Security, and that's 200.10. And then you're not done yet because they didn't include what net pay was here, but if we take all of our total earnings minus all of our deductions, that's the net pay which we will put in cash. So if I took the 13800 minus each deduction, I would get $11,819.30. So that is my credit to cash. Then I go to the next step, and I simply journalize that. So it has everything that we just did up here showing on every tab, except for the cash. So the date is going to be May 15th and I'm going to debit salary expense it's check number 564 and the debit is for 13,800 and I'm going to credit cash for the net pay of 11,819.30 do not forget to do that credit. That's what you guys tend to forget to do. And then I'm going to do employee income tax payable, a credit of 925. And I'm going to do Social Security tax payable, a credit of 855.60 and I'm going to do Medicare tax payable. Whoops, need to be in the actual box. Medicare tax payable. And that is a credit of 200.10. If I had any of the voluntary deductions, I would be crediting those liabilities as well. And again, the difference between salary expense, the debit, and the cash credit, which was the net pay, is all your deductions, and those are credits. So make sure you're in the right column is probably the biggest key.